So in this question, we have full AM, we're given the total power, we're given the modulation index, and we're asked for the carrier power. So the carrier power will be the power of the carrier term. Remember, we're going to have an upper side band and a lower side band, but the question is, what's the power in the carrier? So let's start with the relationship about the power. So the total power is simply the carrier power plus the power in each sideband. So the lower sideband plus the power in the upper sideband. Now, if we assume that our carrier and our sidebands are simply sine waves with an amplitude of AC for the carrier, then the power will be AC squared divided by 2. Now, the, each sideband has an amplitude of half AC times the modulation index. So the carrier or the uh, sideband power would be that squared divided by 2. And similarly, for the upper sideband, we have AC divided by 2 times M squared divided by 2. That is our total power. So, remember, what we're after is the carrier power, AC squared over 2. So we might as well take AC squared over 2 common. So we've got 1 plus, here we have 2 squared over 2 is 8. And 8, so it's M squared over 2. And that's our total power. Now we can simply substitute our total power of 200. So 200 kilowatts equals the carrier power to 1 plus 0 point squared, 7 squared over 2. So the carrier power, if you rearrange that, calculate it, it'll be 161 kilowatt. So that's our final answer. Now, another way of doing this is by recognizing that there is a relationship. Um, we could look at the efficiency. We could say, well, the efficiency has this relationship, and that is equal to the ratio of the useful power, which is the power in the sidebands, divided by the total power. Now, the power in the sidebands is simply the total power minus the carrier power. Now, this is convenient because we know the total power and we know m, so we can just rearrange to find the carrier power. So we've got 0 0.7 squared over 2 plus 0 0.7 squared equals the total power minus PC over the total power. And you can rearrange that to find the carrier power. Again, it's just under 161 kilowatts. So that's two ways of doing it, either by looking at the relationship between the efficiency and the powers, or by looking at um, the amplitudes of the two sidebands.